Hello students, let's read the problem. And it says, which of the following inequalities represents the graph shown below? So we're looking for what? Yes, we wanna find out which one of the inequalities are in the graph, right? So we do have a graph and uh, we can come up with an equation if you wish, right? According to the, the way the graph is, you know, the y-intercept, the slope and things like that, okay? But also I want you to look at the answer choices and notice how all my answer choices are not in uh, slope intercept form which means that that will be the very first thing that we want to do, right? Before we even compare it to the one in the graph, okay? So what about if we start doing those, okay? So let's start doing letter A. So let's write it down. And we're gonna work at the problem as if it's an equation, right? Just keep an eye on the symbol because that might change depending on the steps that we do. So to begin with, since I want to leave y by itself, I need to move the two x's, right? So I'm going to subtract two x on both sides. Okay, remember whatever you do on one side, do it to the other side. This is going to cancel my two x's and I'm going to end it up with y greater than or equals to, I'm going to rewrite it and I'm going to bring the x to the front, right? And that will be my first equation. Y is greater than negative 2x minus 2. Okay? So, based on this, I can tell that the y-intercept and the slope, I got them right here. So, the slope is negative 2 over 1, and the y-intercept is negative 2. Is that right? And also, the symbol that I'm using, which is right here, means greater than. Now think about what greater than means. Greater than means uh, above, right? So all of this information is gonna help us. Now, I'm gonna have a little uh, chart or some information on the side that can really help us understand what to do in the problem, okay? So let's go ahead and check it out. So if you look at the information that I just, I'm showing you right now, I need to find the symbol which is greater than or equals to, and it's right here, right? So let's see if we understand how to read it. So that means that if that symbol is given to me, I'm looking for a solid line. Is that right? Which I do see the solid line right there on my graph, right? But also, if that's the symbol that I'm looking for, I'm gonna be looking for the word what? Above, okay? So I'm looking for a solid line, and I'm looking for the uh, the word above. Is that right? Or shaded above, if you want to put it like that. Okay. So that's the way that we're gonna use that little table on the side. Okay. I'm gonna erase this one because I'm so sure that we're gonna be using it for the rest. Okay. Now, I can go ahead and go to the next equation, or I can decide whether that can be a good answer for me or not. Right. And at this point, if I look at my slope because it's very important that we analyze everything, right? My slope is a negative slope, is that right? Well, what kind of a slope is on my graph? Since my line is pointing to the right, then I'm looking for a positive slope, very good, okay? And my slope is not positive, my slope is negative right there. So can letter A be my answer? No, right? then letter A cannot be my answer, okay? So these are some of the things that you are gonna be checking for as we do the rest of the questions, okay? Okay, so let's work on that second equation and that will be for letter B, okay? If you want to, we can put a little line just so that we don't get confused with the uh, equation from A. So I'm gonna write down 2x minus 3y it's less than or equals to six. Now, don't go and compare the symbol yet. You don't do that until the y is by itself, okay? So, to leave y by itself, I am gonna subtract two x's on both sides, okay? And the x's are gonna cancel, and I'm gonna end it up with negative three y 
less than or equals to negative 2x plus 6. And right now, you cannot compare and say, oh, the slope is negative, so that's wrong, because the y is still not by itself, okay? So we're going to have to do all, everything, the comparison until the end. Since I want to leave y by itself, I need to divide by a negative 3. And I'm going to divide each one of them by a negative 3. Now, what happens when you divide by a negative number or you multiply by a negative number on inequalities? This symbol, I am going to need to switch it, and that's one of the rules, okay? So I'm going to switch my symbol. Negative divided by a negative 3, it cancels out, and that gives me what? Y, very good. Negative 2 divided by a negative 3, it's a positive. And I'm going to leave it as a 2 over 3x. And 6 divided by negative 3, it's a minus or a negative 2. Okay? So let's go ahead and look at my problem over here. Well, my symbol, let's look at the symbol find it for me that symbol it's greater than and I want you to look at the table and find negative sorry greater than which is right here right so that means that I'm looking for a solid line which I do see it right and I'm also looking for shaded above right so it needs to be shaded above my y-intercept so that looks fine so far. Is that right? Okay, what kind of a slope do I see? So let's write it down. We have m equals 2 over 3, and the y-intercept, it's a negative 2. So my slope is positive, which that's what I'm looking for, and the y-intercept is negative 2. Is my y-intercept at negative 2 right here? Yes, it is, right? So it seems like that could be one of my answers, right? So what about if we check the slope? So the slope means I'm going to go 2 up and 3 to the right. Okay? So let's do it. So I'm going to go 2 up and then 3 to the right. 1, 2, and 3. 2 up, 1, 2, and 3. You know what? It seems like all my points are landing on the line. What about if we do the opposite? Instead of going up, we're going to go 2 down and then 3 to the left. 1, 2, and 3. 2 down, 1, 2, and 3. So all my points are landing on the line, right? So to me, right, hopefully you can see that, that the answer has to be letter B, very good, okay? Because I can see that my slope, it is a positive slope, the y-intercept is correct, it is a solid line, and it has to be shaded above, and it is shaded above, right? So that looks like our answer. We can check the other ones if you want to. So let's go ahead and do letter uh, C. So let's go ahead and do letter C. I want to write down 2x plus 3y is less than or equals to a 2. Okay? So I'm going to subtract 2x's on both sides. And that gives me 3y greater, less than, sorry, less than or equals to negative 2x plus 2. Since I want to leave y by itself, I need to divide by 3. Is that right? And that gives me y is less than or equals to negative 2 thirds x plus 2 over 3. Now, I can tell right away that this is not going to be our answer, right? Number one, look at the symbol that is here. That symbol is less than. So come back up here and let me erase the one that I used earlier. I'm looking for that symbol. Let's circle that one. And that is right here. So I'm looking for a solid line, which I do have it. But it's supposed to say below. Am I, is my shaded below the line? It's not right. It's above. So that's how I know it's not right. And not only that, but look at the kind of a slope that we have. My slope is negative, And my line has it positive. So that's how I know that C cannot be an answer. And we had already crossed out A, right? So let's check the next one. Let's do D. So I'm going to write down 3x minus 2y. It's greater than or equals to 6. So I'm going to subtract 3x's on both sides. Okay, so that gives me negative 2y 
it's greater than or equals to negative three x plus six. And again, don't compare anything until y is by itself. I will divide by negative two. Now what happens when you divide by negative two? I need to switch my symbol, right? And that will give me three over two x positive minus three, okay? So right away I can see that my symbol is not gonna match my graph because this symbol means what? Less than, exactly. So let's go ahead and find the symbol. So that symbol that I'm, I'm using right now is this one. And that means that it should be shaded below. And it's not shaded below, it's actually shaded above. So that's how my answer is not letter D. So yeah, we can confirm then that letter B was the best answer for us. Okay, 